In this video, we're going to look at setting up the Godot engine. Now, Godot is a completely free and open source professional game engine and can be downloaded from the godotengine.org website. From here, if you want to download this home, because it's free and open source, you can just click on the download button. It will work for Mac computers, Windows computers, and Linux. There is currently a Chromebook version in the, in the making. It's not available yet, but it will be um, probably shortly. Now, the version you want to download is the 64-bit version. Now, in school and here, we're using Godot 3.2.2. So, let's get, get this set up. So in order to set up Godot, we're going to pre we're going to go down to the left hand menu and we're going to click on the Godot icon. Now, if you go into your Windows menu and go to Programs, you're going to see this icon or see this button. If you double click on it, it will open up the Godot menu. Now, the first item you see, you're going to want to just press Cancel on, and you get this setup screen. So we need to start by creating a brand new project. So we click on New Project and we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call mine my 2D platformer and I always give it a number afterwards, so 1.0 and this is just so I can iterate as I improve my game. So after you've given your ga game a name, what you're going to want to do is come to the browser icon. So if you click on the browser icon, you're going to see all this. Now at home, you'll find just a click on your documents area and you can carry on. However, in school, you do have to use the network drive. It won't work if you just go into this and you use the C drive, it just won't work in school. So what we need to do instead is we need to come up to this button here, and in school you're gonna see one that says N. If you just select the N, and then you'll see this exactly the same menu, but this time you'll be working from your own network, and it will save it in your own drive. So you've got N selected here, and now you click on Documents, and you go into your Documents. Now from here, we're just gonna create a new folder. So we're gonna come up to the Create Folder button, and we're going to give it a name, and it's going to be exactly the same name as we gave it before. So my 2D platformer 1.0. From there, you can just press OK, and you can see that that folder has now been created. So we can just press the Select Current Folder button, and you can see we've got the name here. We've got a nice green tick here, and we're going to use the OpenGL3. If this doesn't work, you just change it to two. So some early computers just need a softer render, and you can use this. But we should have no problem using the OpenGL3. So we're just just going to press Create and Edit and then it's going to open up the Godot engine. Now, by default, it opens in the 3D engine. So in Godot, you can actually create lots of different kinds of games, including 3D games, which is absolutely brilliant. But we're going to be creating a 2D platformer here. So what we want to do is click on the 2D engine, and you'll notice, if I just scroll in, you've got your default engine, you've got your default space ready to go. So this box here is where your games window will sit initially. Um, but actual fact, you can make it a lot bigger, which is absolutely great. So we're going to leave this video here. Get yourself set up, and I'll see you in the next one.